Hi, Alex here. No. I'm Katie Lee. And I can see whatever I want to. This song, <laughs> we had a video done for, uh, for the tour, for the live uh, presentation of this by the guys from South Park, um, Matt Stone and, uh, and Trey um, Parker. It was hilarious. When we got this, we, we, we become friends with them over the years. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're Rush fans. And, um, and Matt, uh, when we approached him about doing something in that style for our rear screen projection, uh, they were all over it. In fact, they were on holiday. They came back from holiday. They went into the studio. They worked because we had a uh, time limit. And they just put this little piece together <laughs> with Carmen as Getty. And, uh, and it's hilarious. And as soon as it comes on, the crowd just goes mental. Um, it's really, really a lot of fun. And of course, you could see it on our uh, DVDs, which are available at your local. Oh, that's another story. Um, this is from Moving Pictures, as you know. Uh, we were at the studio in 19, end of 1980, beginning of 81. And we were there for about three or four months, which was typical for uh, us making a record and, and mixing. Um, I've said it before, this was such a great record to make. We, we really had a lot of fun. Uh, some records are like that. Some are very, very difficult to make. For example, Grace Under Pressure was very difficult. Done at the studio as well a few years later. But uh, Moving Pictures was such a positive, fun record. It was cold. We played volleyball outside when it was minus 20 degrees. Uh, fortunately, we had lots of cognac and other things to keep us warm. And we would do that after sessions. We'd finish at about 2 o'clock in the morning, go back and play till like 5 o'clock in the morning in the, in the little yard of the house that we stayed up at the studio. But uh, it was such a riot, and it just kept everybody in the best of spirits. This song, uh, we sure did play a lot. And uh, I don't miss playing it right now. That's OK, because <laughs> we really, really played it a lot. And it's a, it's a difficult song to play, particularly for Neil. Uh, I mean, he's crazy drummer. Uh, he makes everything just so hard. Uh, if I was drumming, I certainly would be like this, much lazier. Uh, but that's not him. And uh, you can hear it in his drumming. It's so active on this song. And structurally, the song is a weird kind of song. It starts with a verse, and then it goes into sort of uh, a bridge, and then it goes into another section, and then it comes back in, the chorus, and uh, you know, it's kind of all over the place. It's not a traditional sort of uh, arrangement. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's a hard song to play for, well, for some people. <laughs> for me, it's a breeze. But that's because my parts are very simple. And um, I'm, I'm working on that. Now. So hopefully, I'll get better. We close with this song, we open with this song. I think this song probably uh, most people recognize us because of it. And uh, it's a lot of things. It's that opening wow note that kind of sets it apart, the weird arrangement. Uh, the rebel spirit, I think, appealed to a lot of people, particularly when it was first released. Uh, yeah. Tom Sawyer. Unlike Ricky's version, Diane Sawyer. <laughs> Bless him. Rock Radio played the heck out of that song. Uh, Top 40 actually started to play it, and then uh, payola stopped happening in the United States. <laughs> so the record died on the vine. And Randy didn't even want it. He wanted us to change the name to Raise a Little Howl, because he was a Mormon. And uh, hell. Maybe that's why they didn't want to play it before 6 o'clock as well. <laughs> 